Kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your seven-day Australia-only forecast. Let's get into it because we've got uh, we've had a lot of wind blowing around the southeastern corner. There's still more windy weather coming in and around. But the good news is, especially for those of you in Tassie and parts of Victoria where it's been especially strong, we are seeing those winds easing back over the next week. So we're going to switch now from focusing on uh, the strong winds to maybe some heavy rain, which could be showing up in the forecast around this part of the map here, around Western Australia, South Australia. We'll talk about that in a moment, but first of all, let's kick off with what is actually happening as high pressure slowly moves out over the Tasman Sea. That's the reason why you're getting this big windy nor'wester coming in from New South Wales all the way over to Western Australia. And of course, the very corner here of Western Australia, it's a windy sou'wester coming from out of the Southern Ocean. Temperatures are down. Let's have a look at Friday uh, into the afternoon. You can see that convergence line here, that's sort of between the nor'westers coming down uh, from the north and the west to southwest winds coming along from the south. And stuck between them is this line of rain. And we've been talking about this now for a week or so. It's now sliding further down and towards Tasmania. So yes, more wind and rain coming in for you on Friday. Severe gales are possible. Hopefully not as bad as they've been, but still could be damaged. And again, the heavy rain, 30, 40 millimeters or more falling for some of you in the west and the northwest. And also getting some heavier rainfall along the coastlines here of South Australia and Victoria, mostly between Adelaide and Melbourne. Elsewhere around Australia, there's not a lot happening. You know, New South Wales, pretty quiet, warmer, warmer with those nor'westers and westerly winds blowing through Canberra, uh, pretty quiet around Brisbane and a few showers for coastal areas of Queensland. Otherwise, there isn't much going on. And I might start saying that a bit more as we go into the weekend because it does sort of quieten down a wee bit. Uh, fairly dry conditions around most of Australia, an easterly breeze blowing through central parts of Western Australia, while the southwesters at the bottom part of Western Australia, they finally ease back, just a few showers there. Uh, the showers also clear around most of South Australia as the day wears on, but the wet weather slides eastwards now, eastern Victoria and into the southeastern corner of New South Wales, mostly outside of the ACT. And if you look at uh, Tasmania, it's got that rain shadow effect from the westerlies blowing along. So dry for Hobart, dry for those eastern areas for the most part. And again, more showers coming in with those easterlies for uh, Queensland. If I'm not talking about you elsewhere, there is probably nothing to talk about, to be honest with you. Uh, no offense. Now on Sunday, another convergence area. This is it lining up through central Australia all the way out here to about Newcastle area. So there'll be showers, maybe a few thunderstorms that form in that line. But if you're outside of that, there's not too much going on. A few coastal showers from Perth southwards down to about Margaret River, round to Albany. Won't be much though. Maybe Esperance getting a couple of showers. Uh, Adelaide's looking mostly dry, but there may be a shower or two nearby. But as you go further down into Victoria and into Tasmania, further showers, especially on the west coast of Tassie, are getting those showers carrying on. Around Brisbane, again, not much to talk about. Pretty quiet around the Sunshine Coast and Brisbane areas at this stage. And maybe for a little bit longer, we're in that funny time of year where we're leaving winter, uh, we're not in summer yet, and so we're sort of switching seasons in the north from the dry season to the wet season, which is still a little bit away off, maybe a few more weeks away yet. You can see some of that rain, though, to the very north. Not, else, not a lot else happening on Monday. A couple of showers do come in around the border between Queensland and New South Wales. Shouldn't be too major, but there might be an isolated heavy fall or two. Showers and westerlies carry on for Tasmania. Not as bad as the winds have been, but they're still a bit blustery. Might be gale force here and there, but not, not so likely to be seeing those severe gales. And still a few coastal showers, really from um, about Port Lincoln around to about, uh, I'm going to go with Phillip Island this time, in Victoria. Not much happening else. Uh, North, Northern Territory, there are a few showers bubbling up there. Not a lot, though. It is still mostly dry, but obviously the heat is up here, all to the north. So going through next week, I talked about this new rainmaker. This is it here forming in Western Australia on Tuesday. Doesn't look like too much there, but there could still be some helpful showers forming in the blue shaded areas. Further down to the southwestern corner, there's a bit of a southerly change coming through with a couple of showers there. Elsewhere, not a lot is going on. The only area of interest actually around Brisbane, just south of Brisbane, going into New South Wales, 
that line of convergence just might get a little more energized on Tuesday of next week. So the potential for some heavier falls in there and the winds are easing further around Tasmania and certainly around Bass Strait. If you're in coastal Victoria and uh, going up into including Melbourne, those winds are definitely easing back as we go into next week. Now, Wednesday of next week, winds are even lighter around Tassie and Victoria. We can finally stop talking about Tasmania, no offence, and now we move over to Western Australia where we've got this low pressure zone forming. And that low is just getting the right mixture of northerlies feeding into it on the eastern side and southerlies coming into it on the western side. That helps to spin it. And that's what helps deepen it and make for some heavier rain. So compared to, you, to usual for these very dry areas, there are some big downpours on the way next week. And they will become more intense on Thursday between on that border there between South Australia and West Australia, Western Australia. That's where we're seeing some very heavy falls. There could be 70 or 80 millimetres forming in some spots in just one day uh, as we go through to Thursday of next week. And yes, it is likely to be gradually moving into South Australia, heading towards Adelaide at this stage. So we will be seeing some rain around next week, but I don't want to lock it in too much. These things can move around a bit uh, in a week's time. And so, yeah, it might be falling in a week, but if it moves, you know, 500 k's away from Adelaide, we've got the hopes up for a lot of people for no reason. So we're just keeping it, playing it down for now. But certainly this is a bit of a change to the weather pattern we've been seeing. A whole lot of downpours forming in uh, the inland part of Western Australia, South Australia, a little bit going into Northern Territory. Uh, but certainly that rain will be welcome for those who get it. And not much happening in the east not yet, but we are keeping an eye on the rain north of Australia as we get closer to the wetter season, which is uh, coming up not far away now, another month or so. That is all from me for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again next week. Don't forget, oh, one more thing before we go. Sorry, I just remembered. We've got one more map. <laughs> the rain map, the, the most important one potentially of all. Um, but I was just going to say we don't have our flight simulator video again this week. I am sorry. We're actually getting the computer upgraded and uh, a few other bits of maintenance going on. So we're, we're still out of luck with that. Now here is the uh, next seven days rainfall. Look, that is the area here, Western Australia, South Australia, inland. You could be seeing over 100 millimeters falling there, mostly next week. For the more populated places, not a lot of rain falling really over the next seven days. You see a little bit around Brisbane, a little bit further up north around Cairns, and obviously the bulk of it is down here around Tasmania, where on the west coast, 80 millimetres at least is forecast. Now that is all from me for today. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday.